Oh, look at this. Yeah, they're hungry. Oh, they look great. We were taking a ride up Big Creek to look for the morel mushrooms in a burn area, and we are watching an owl and an eagle. I didn't know who was chasing who. We had noticed that there was a large amount of feathers, and we had stopped. They were starving, cold. I just scooped them up and stuck them in a cooler with a sweater, and we uh, headed back down river and called Dr. D. This is really a special find to have five of them like this. Oh, we thought they were dead, and there was no signs of mom, no hearing mom. And you said there was a lot of feathers. Yeah. We thought they were dead, and we picked them up off the ground. They just popped back to life. It was amazing. You became an owl mama. Yeah. I think they're northern hawk owls. Yep, that's what they are. So do you know why they're different sizes? This one was hatched first, then that one was hatched, and then probably that one. And these guys got hatched last, so they're all probably a week or so between each other. Listen to that little noise. He's hungry. Oh, do you got food? Yes, I do. Oh, here it is. Owls are carnivores from the day they're hatched. Their mothers will go out and eat meat, come back, and then regurgitate it back up to the babies. And I use tweezers. You don't eat it and chew it up and then give oh, it to no. them? <laughs> I thought about it a couple of times as we were putting some prime moose steak down there. That guy's going, I'll take his. This is unusual. There's only five owlets left. The hawk owl is known for having seven to 12 babies. The plan, what we're going to do is get them to Fairbanks, and tomorrow they go on Raven Air down to Bird TLC. Bird TLC, it's a natural environment where they can learn how to hunt on their own, get their own food, learn how to be owls. Once they get down um, to Anchorage, they'll start getting some live mice, which is hard oh, for you good, up here. Yes. You know, where do you get the live stuff? The big thing is, can we get them back nurtured? And that's why it was imperative we get here soon yeah. before they're like petting them and they're like perched on your fingers. So Rachel knew enough not to feed these babies by hand and to delicately give them food because we don't want them imprinting on us humans. They have to be imprinted on owls so that they can go back out into the wild. You did the right thing. You did your gut feeling, which was, Save you guys. I'm gonna miss them. Are you gonna have withdrawals? I probably am. It's like they're going to boarding school. They're just going away to figure out how to fly and become owls. Look at these guys, they're so cute. We are so thankful, Dr. D. We would be up deep crook without a paddle. Yeah, with five owls. Yeah. <laughs>